almost live from the Enchanted Trivia Room, it's the Theme Park Trivia Show! With Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings! And here's your host, Ryan Ritchie! Well, thank you very much. And on another hand, for Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings. All right, well, Jumbo, everyone, and you're joining us for a very special episode today. We have a married couple with us, but get this, somehow they're married and they also podcast together. I don't know how they do it. They're going to tell us from the Theme Park Duo podcast. Please welcome Nikki and Gabe to the show. Welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. And honestly, I am not fully aware of how we're capable of it either. <laughs> so I actually don't have answers. Nikki's <laughs> usually the one that is, uh, you know, patient. So she might have answers more than me. You've uh, made it through how many episodes now? A hundred and thirty-three episodes. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good. Yeah. That's a pretty good number. But let's learn a little more about you. Uh, Gabe, tell us a little something about yourself. So I grew up in Southern California, right down the street from Disneyland, Knott's Spray Farm, not too far off from Universal Studios Hollywood and Six Flags. So I've had a lot of theme parks in my life. And it started at a very young age when I was so curious on how to... Uh, how to figure out how things were done. And this was in the age before the internet, before everything was at the tips of your fingers and I had to go search it out. So that was always very fascinating for me. So uh, at my day job, I'm an editor. So I love storytelling. So that kind of mashes up a little bit with Imagineering and you know, the development of theme park attractions and stuff like that. So that's me. I'm a big dork. <laughs> very good. Big dork. His words, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Nikki, tell us a little about yourself. Okay, well, I'm Nikki. I'm married to the big dork, and I am, I guess I'm a self-proclaimed mega nerd. I'm into everything like fantasy, Harry Potter, you name it. I've probably read it. I grew up right down the street from, well, like close to Universal Studios, so theme parks has also been a big part of my childhood, uh, but not so much a big part of my life since I met Gabe. Like, Gabe made it a bigger part of my life than it was before, so definitely meshing all my loves together and it's it's been a, a wild ride <laughs> splendid well let's hope it continues after this game here we go uh we're gonna <laughs> start the game as we'd started day at the parks of course with a rope drop so it's our rope drop question and you just have to be the closest with the correct answer it does not matter if you go over okay everybody's good everybody's got it all right uh let's see gabe you know to never miss hang time when you visit Knott's Berry Farm. So we're going to let you uh, go first here. Here is the question for control. How many gallons of water are in Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean? Wow. Um, I'm going to say 100,000 gallons. <laughs> 100,000 gallons. Nikki, how many gallons of water would you like to say? <laughs> Can I just say higher or lower than his answer? <laughs> just do, you, you should do what they do on the prices, right? Just go uh, 101,000 <laughs> gallons. Um, I'm going to say uh, 1,000 gallons. 1,000 gallons. Well, you yeah. should have listened to Gabe. It's actually 630,000 <laughs> gallons of water. Oh, That's my so God. much. I thought it was way over. Uh, so that means, Gabe, you have control. So let's take a look at today's categories. We have anagrams, take the bus, theme park questions, a trivia adventure presented by the Theme Park Trivia Show, sponsor land, world key information, and mighty microscope. Mm. Where are we headed, Gabe? I will take, take the bus. Take the bus, oh. I am sorry, it looks like due to short staffing and budget cuts, the buses are not running. You've lost control of the board. <laughs> that's, that's not good. I'm, I'm not shocked, though. We got it out of the way early, though. Nikki, you have control. Where are we headed? 
Um, I'll take anagrams. Okay, anagrams it is. I'm well, not shocked by this. I'm this one shocked. is very straightforward, uh, but it, it's going to be difficult. So, well, there on each of these, you have the option of the orange or green. Green's less intense, obviously. Uh, <laughs> If you answer it correctly as an orange question, that is without any hints, you will get 20 points. Okay. But if you'd rather have a hint and you get it right, you will get 10 points. Okay? Okay. So Nikki, okay. You, you have to decide now though, do you want the orange <gasps> or green for your first anagram? Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. I want green. I want green. Lame, I'm, lame. Sorry. We should have done orange. That's what we did on our honeymoon. I, we I chose have orange. No, I have no faith in myself in this game. I'm going to take all the help I can get. Hey, folks, did okay, you hear fair. what I heard? They take it to orange on their honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see the first anagram. <laughs> <laughs> I read that and I was like, what's ax pneumonia? <laughs> and your, your, your uh, clue is thrill ride. Thrill ride. Thrill ride. Ax pneumonia. Take a moment. Oh my gosh. All I see is ax pneumonia. I can't see anything else. Um, I don't know. Okay, Gabe, can you steal this? Ax pneumonia. It's a thrill ride. I'm. It's a thrill ride. Um, let's see here. It, it, is it any particular? Am I allowed to? I cannot give Wait, you. I cannot. You you I cannot give you an additional hint at this point. Okay, Nikki knows what it is, but now it's still my turn, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure it out now. <laughs> so, cat's pneumonia, <laughs> tax pneumonia. Uh, it's a thrill ride. And then, oh, we're out of time. Dang. Dang. We were looking for here. It, here it comes, Space Mountain. Oh, I, I see. Figured. I thought it, no. I thought that I, the first word that said X. I thought it had to be those letters in the first word. Too. You've got it now. Everybody's got it figured now out. I get it. You're gonna do great. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Nikki, we're back to you for the next one. Do you want orange or green? I'll do orange this time. Okay. Oh wow. All right. Here we go. Orange. I I'm giving you no <laughs> clue whatsoever. Okay. For, for this attraction, for 20 points. Jug Lysinger. That Jug was a mistake. Lysinger. <laughs> I know this one. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. Uh oh, Gabe's gonna steal. You better get it right. You better get it right. And he's going to steal for 20 points if he gets it right, ladies and gentlemen. Aww. Pass. We will go to Gabe. <laughs> Gabe, can you tell us what Jug Lysinger is? Is it Jungle Cruise? Oh. It is Jungle Cruise. Oh, 20 yeah. points to Gabe. <laughs> well done. Very nice. All right, Gabe, you are in control. We've got the next one, orange or green. Let's, you know, I am definitely not as brave as Nikki, so I will take green. All right, green. And your clue is Florida Thrill Ride. Florida thrill ride. Active coolers. A Florida, Florida thrill ride. Florida thrill ride. Uh. Well, here comes some pixie dust. New Florida thrill ride. New-ish. Oh, a new. New-ish. New-ish. Florida thrill ride. Velocicoaster. You are correct. <laughs> 10 points. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Good job. Active coolers. Thank you. All right, Nikki, we're back to you. Orange or green? Okay. I'm sorry, no, I'm green. sorry. Gabe, Gabe got that right. He still has control. I'm sorry, my heavens. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah. What the heck? Whew, that was close. Green or orange? I'll take green again. Okay. Uh, Nikki's so mad. Slow moving. Slow moving is your clue. And here it is. Abandons rollback Toyotas. <laughs> Slow moving. I mean, the first thing that I think of may not be it. I'm thinking people mover, but there's no T in that. Hmm. Is, is that it, your answer? What's the other name for it? Tomorrowland. Uh, I'm just going to go with people mover. I know that's not it. Tomorrowland people that mover. That is incorrect, Nikki. Slow moving. Mm. I 
I can't, I'm sorry, I don't know it. <laughs> Let's take a look from your very own Southern California. That is the Storybook Land oh. Canal Boats. <laughs> That's a tough one. That was a tough one. So that that is uh, that is a tough one. Okay, we are down to who we uh, Gabe still has control. Uh, orange or green this time? I will still take green. Green. Uh, Florida would be your clue. And here we go. No, I'm pretty sure that's on purpose sellers. If it's Florida, <laughs> we just add resellers uh, to that. Florida. Yeah, I'll have to pass. I don't know this one. Nikki, you got a you got a guess for us on this one? No, I'm sorry. I'm way bad at this game. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on. Here come here comes some extra pixie dust. Florida weenie. Florida weenie. Florida weenie. Hmm. Nikki, Florida weenie. Mm. No, that doesn't help. I'm sorry. I think I, think, I think I know it now. Uh, well, it's too late. Maybe. Gabe, for fun, <laughs> do you know what it is? Is it Cinderella Castle? Cinderella's Castle. Is no, no, correct. there's no R in that. Oh, I got it right. There you go. Well, oh, the weenie. Uh -huh. yeah. I was thinking hot dogs. I was thinking hot dogs. I'm hungry. Sorry. Corn dog castle. <laughs> All right, so after that category, which by the way, thank you for joining us, that was the soft opening of that category. So we will, uh, we will tweak that in future episodes. So thank you for, for joining us for that. Okay. Ooh, very nice, there you go, so, easy enough. So after that category, we have Gabe with 30. Nikki is not on the board yet, but things are gonna turn around because Nikki, you get to pick our next category and your choices are Theme Park Questions, a trivia adventure presented by the Theme Park Trivia Show. Sponsor land, world key information, or mighty microscope. Where are we headed? I will take, take theme park questions, a trivia adventure. Presented by. That's not the, the theme park Presented trivia. Presented by. That's not the, yes. the theme park trivia show. They, they've paid a lot of money <laughs> to sponsor this. Um, <laughs> so the good news and bad news is these are random trivia questions that could be about anything, any park, anywhere, but mostly in America. So. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> it's, like, yes. it's like Sam the Eagle. Exactly. Sam the Eagle wrote this, this category for us. All right, Nikki. These are not easy. I'll just tell you that up front. What Good theme park is the only one to feature a roller coaster themed to the colors of an NFL team? This is a theme park uh... with a coaster for an NFL team. Man. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Hershey Park. Hershey Park. <laughs> Good guess, Gabe. I I know it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. I cannot confirm or deny. But what park is in Pittsburgh? What park is in Pittsburgh? Hmm. Um, oh, I want to change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm not. Well, it's Pittsburgh. Is it Hershey Park? It's P Pittsburgh. Hershey Park is in Hershey, my. <sighs> oh, Hershey, stupid. Duh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with. I know it's. I know this isn't in Pittsburgh. I'm gonna just say Dollywood. I look so stupid. What'd you say? I said Dollywood. Dollywood. Uh, it's Kennywood. <laughs> Kennywood. Dang. <laughs> Kennywood. My friend Kenny ah. is going to kill There you go. You were so close. <laughs> the, uh, the coaster is the Steel Curtain at Kennywood. So it is the Steelers, black and gold. You were correct. Yeah. All right. So, Nikki, we're back to you. What okay. park features a ride from the Meow Wolf Artist Collective? I didn't even know they did anything for I attraction. don't know. I have wild guess. I'm going to say Cedar Point because I have no clue. Cedar Point? That is incorrect. Gabe, Cedar do you Point. have a guess? <laughs> Sticking with Dollywood. Dollywood. <laughs> Someday Dollywood will be correct. Uh, actually, it's Ellich Gardens in Denver. Ellich Gardens in Denver. Oh. Kaleidoscape. They put in the ride shortly before they opened their uh, Convergence Station there in Denver. So there you go. Interesting. It's, it's really, uh, this is infotainment. You know, you're learning as you go through yeah. here. It's not, wh what's yes. the fun in knowing what These you already know? Exactly. 
exactly. This is very difficult. <laughs> All right. At least Nick- it's not just me. Nikki. We're- yeah, no, you're not alone. <laughs> Nikki, where can you catch a ride on the Butterfield Stagecoach? If you don't know this, oh my God. Oh, he is ratcheting up the pressure. The Butterfield I Stagecoach. Mean, oh my God. I mean, based on his anger, is it Knott's Berry Farm? It is know. indeed. You're- yeah. Very good. Cool. I should have I got points. I yeah, you I gave me a big time. hint, you dummy. I didn't know it was called. Yeah, I knew it had a stagecoach, but so I probably would have guessed knots anyway. But I didn't know it was called Butter Butterfield. So there you go. I got it right. <laughs> All right. I should give you sticks of butter while you're. We're moving on, Nikki. You are still in control with this one. Where can you ride Loch Ness Monster and Finnegan's Flyer? What park has mm. Loch Ness Monster and Finnegan's Flyer? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds European. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the only theme park in Europe that's not Disney that I know. I'm gonna say Tato Park in Ireland. <laughs> Gabe, would you like to steal this one? I, I honestly, I don't think that Nikki's off track. I also think that it may be a European mm-hmm. park. So I'll say Efteling. That was Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, uh, the there, old there country. At least, at least it wasn't Dollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikki. Final, final category. Final question in the category. This is. Uh, we'll see how you do on this one. Which Pirates of the Caribbean is better, Walt Disney World or Disneyland? Justify your answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, well, my answer is California because uh-huh. it has legitimate drops. Mm. Yeah, so Florida's is a little bit boring for someone born and raised in California. But with legitimate drops comes a ride up a conveyor belt, and that doesn't feel very piratey. Excuse, excuse me, you're going up a waterfall. Oh. Walt Disney said yes. it himself. Why am I fighting for you? I don't, why aren't <laughs> why you fighting, fighting for me? <laughs> give her the points. Right, give her the points. Point. Very good. 30 to 20. I didn't even get the answer yet. 30 to 20 at the end of two categories. Very nice. Hey, let's take a moment and tell folks a little bit about the podcast. So what can people expect if they check out the Theme Park Duo podcast? So on our show, we pretty much cover Anything and everything that is themed entertainment, whether that is a haunted attraction, a theme park, an amusement park, whatever it may be, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, Six Flags, Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios, that sort of stuff. Uh, If it's something themed and we've gone to it, we'll talk about it. We talk about news, current events, uh, things of that nature. We have interviews. Uh, We've had interviews with uh, previous uh, or at least Disney legends on the show like Bob Gurr. Uh, think, uh, people like that. So we have some really cool interviews. Um, sometimes we have opportunities to go to the park and get some sneak peeks at attractions and a lot of ridiculousness <laughs> as well and tangents. Yeah. It's kind of the name of the game with our show. More often than not, if Nikki has a white claw in hand, the show's going to be <laughs> and, good. And you're very- I don't have anything today. <laughs> <laughs> and you're very enthusiastic. I, I, uh, I think the first episode I listened to was when you were talking about the announcements of the different uh, Hollywood Horror Night uh, uh, houses for this year. So very good. Yeah. And people can find you at themeparkduo.com, right? Yeah, so themeparkduo.com. And on social media, you can just type in any social media platform, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, uh, Theme Park Duo. TikTok's actually the Theme Park Duo, but Theme Park Duo, you should what be What about the Yik Yak? Are you on the Yik Yak? Oh, we are. We are on the Yik Yak, and I Yik Yak quite often. Uh, Nikki doesn't know about that, so thank you for making that publicly known. I told you that in confidence. (laughs) Well, let's move on, shall we? Uh, We have three (laughs) big categories left. We have Sponsor Land, World Key Information, and Mighty Microscope. Nikki is in control. Where are we headed? We are headed to the Mighty Microscope. Okay, Mighty Microscope. We're going to show you some highly magnified images And these are all from around Disneyland, so your backyard. All you have to do is tell us what we're looking at or what area we're looking at, okay? 
Okay. All right, here we go. Here is number one. Where are we? Okay, that is in Adventureland. I want to say it's um, like outside the Tiki Room. Is that called Tongaroga Terrace? Or is it out just outside the Tiki Room? Yeah, outside the Tiki Room. You are correct. And I almost want to give you 20 points for getting the Terrace correct as well. But a tie, everyone loves a tie game, so we'll leave it at 30-30. <laughs> Very good. Let's move on to number two. Oh, that one's really hard. Um, I want to... I don't remember that exact, like, thing, but the, uh, the surrounding part looks like something that might be on It's a Small World, so I'm going to guess it's on the outside of It's a Small World. She is on a roll. That is indeed <gasps> the facade. <laughs> Of It's a Small World, and Nikki has taken Very the nice. lead. Charging ahead. No, no. All right, let's take no. a look at number three. Oh, <laughs> I have no clue. That is on, that is on the outside of the Indiana Jones attraction. It's in the queue. Nice. Very good. All right, now you're warmed <laughs> up. Now that you're warmed up, they're going to get a little more challenging. All right. Okay. Lucky for you, you're married to me. <laughs> you wouldn't have got that one right, right if you weren't married to me. Let's take a look. You throw me the gold, I throw you the whip. Let's take a look at number four. What is this? Oh, I know what this. are we looking at here? Is that is that part of a jungle cruise boat? Is that no. your answer? That's my answer. I don't know what it that is. That is incorrect. Gabe, can you steal? That is from the Finding Nemo submarine oh. attraction. Hey, it was on a boat. It is it indeed. Boat, the boat. You were in the... True. That is it is on a boat. <laughs> Very nice. It's on a boat. It's on a boat. <laughs> Here we go. Last Mighty Microscope for you. Uh, Gabe, this is yours. Let's take a look at this. Is that kind of like a, uh, a latch of sorts? Mm. Is that what that is? It's very zoomed in. Not sure. It is very, very zoomed, zoomed in. in. Um, last, last category, last question in the category is difficult, so. Yeah. What color, what is that color in Disneyland? We've got John Hench here, ladies um, and gentlemen. He's I, figuring out the color. He's using the color scheme. To I am, so my first initial guess was going to be the trains but i actually don't think that's a train because i don't remember that color being on the train most of the trains are like a red color scheme as opposed to like a teal green blue um i am going to guess that is something in fantasy land and I'm, I really, I'm actually pretty lost on this one. Uh, I'm going to guess something that's on Alice in Wonderland because I know that that color is used over on it's, that attraction. It is, uh, it is hard to, uh, to zoom in and see this one. Nikki, can you steal it? Um, you know what? I, I have a wild guess. Um, I, I want to say it's at the train station in New Orleans Square. Is it, oh, is it like the little uh, telegraph thing? Oh. Oh my god, it Let's is. See it. Oh, I'm so there stupid. There it is, indeed. It's the I'm telegraph. So That's what it was. <laughs> At the train station. That's what it was. As, so <laughs> as soon as you said it, I was like, oh my god, I am so stupid. I am the world's oh, stupidest shit. human. We being. got to walk over there during COVID, oh. Gabe. I know. Bowser's barking at me too. Our dog's barking at me because I'm so stupid. Well, well, well. That oh concludes God. our visit around Disneyland in the microscope. Uh, we have Nikki with 60 points. Gabe with 40. Still anyone's game, of course. We have Sponsorland or World Key Information. Where are we headed? Um, I will go with Sponsorland. Sponsorland, as you may have guessed, these are all questions about attraction sponsors. Okay. Uh, Nikki, what sponsor was eager to help E.T. phone home at the E.T. Adventure at Universal Studios? I don't, you know, I don't, Gabe, stop looking at me like that. I don't remember. I was a child. I, I pass. I don't remember. I was a child. I don't remember. Gabe? I am not 100% sure, but my initial guess was 
AT&T. AT&T is correct. The phone home was in the clue there. Yes, yes. Nice. AT&T. Yes. Brings us to 50 for Gabe. All right, here we go. Here's your question, Gabe. Kodak was known for sponsoring photo spots throughout the Disney parks. What company replaced Kodak as the photo spot sponsor? The photo spot sponsor. It's funny because in my mind, it's always been Kodak. That's so crazy. It changed in 2013. Um, okay, so not super. That recent, helps. Almost yeah. 10 years ago. Oh my goodness, that totally helped. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. That's a hard one. That's a difficult one. All right. Nikki, you got a guess for us? I have a wild guess of Canon. I have no clue. So. Canon, you're very close. It's Nikon. Ah, Nikon. Oh, uh, I, now I can picture it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for, it's, I'm trying to picture those signs yeah. around the park where it's like, hey, yeah. stop here, take no, a I picture. I can totally picture it says Nikon now. <laughs> Are they still there? I, I, there's a few, yeah. yeah. I know there's one, and there's one by Grizzly River Run. Uh, we're back to you, Gabe. In 2012, Disneyland's Fantasy Fair, which is a princess meet and greet area, replaced what long-standing area that had a sponsor's name and its title? Uh, I know the area that it that it was. I just don't remember the name. That stinks. Uh, it was where they held all the swing dances and everything. Mm -hmm. And people were in a big hoopla <laughs> that they got rid of it. Um, it mm. You're definitely going to know it as soon as you hear it. The Honda dance a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the, the robots come out from Honda, right? Like from an invention. Yes, exactly. Does the dance. Osimo, Osimo. Osimo, that's his name. That should have been the question. Uh, Nikki, do you have a guess for us? I don't. I don't. Nothing's in my brain, <laughs> so I pass. Are you ready? Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Carnation Plaza. Oh. Ugh. I know. Why? Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. That one hurts. Carnation that Plaza. Hurt. Yeah, yes. That, that hurt. one does. That, that one does hurt. hurt. That does hurt. Okay. <laughs> We're back to you, Gabe. While today you can get Starbucks on Main Street, who was the original sponsor of the coffee shop in Disneyland? The original sponsor of a coffee shop in Disneyland. I'm going to throw a wild guess here, and I don't think it's correct, but I don't think it's correct, but I remember seeing this coffee at a lot of places in Southern California growing up, and I'm going to just say Dietrich's Coffee. Ooh, no, Dietrich's is not That's what a we're deep looking cut. for. That's a deep cut, though. That is. That is. Nikki? Uh... I'm just gonna say Folgers because it's the only name in my head. <laughs> yeah, you were very close. It actually at the beginning was Maxwell House. Ah, oh. so close. Maxwell House, 1955 <laughs> to 1958, and then it was uh, Hills Brothers uh, from 58 to 76. So there you go. A little bit of coffee history on Main Street for you. A lot of this stuff is are things I should know off the top of my head, and they're obvious things until someone asks you when you're on the spot. <laughs> exactly. True. Well, I'll tell you, Gabe, the good news is this last one, you absolutely should not know this. Um, oh, darn it. <laughs> what is the official lawnmower of SeaWorld? Uh, <laughs> the official lawnmower of SeaWorld is quite obviously the... Uh, the Orca Shredder 3000. <laughs> <laughs> Judges? No, I'm sorry. That is not correct. Uh, I, was it the Orca Shredder 2000? I, I get those versions mixed up all the time. They dropped their sponsorship. Nikki, do you have a guess for us on the official lawnmower of I, SeaWorld? I, I do not, but um, I didn't even know SeaWorld had lawns to shred. Um, Mo, I'm trying to think not of a lawnmower shred. name. Not shred, Mo. I don't, why did I say? Oh, I said shred because you said shredder. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of any lawnmower company ever created, and I can't think of any. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> Honda, Honda makes lawnmowers. Honda, maybe it's Honda. Uh, clearly, money well spent. Uh, the official lawnmower of SeaWorld is Bad Boy Mowers. We all know that. Bad Boy Mowers. Bad Boy Mowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I definitely shouldn't have known that one. <laughs> so uh, I hope. I wonder how much that sponsorship cost them to be the official. Probably too much. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs>
To be the official lawnmower of an ocean-based park. All right. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> that brings us to our last category. This is the World Key Information System, and that means it's a video question. This is going to come from a former contestant, uh, Tim Grassy from the Marty Called Podcast, has this question for you. Hi, this is Tim Grassy of the Marty Called Podcast. I just have a simple question for you. Who are these guys? Okay, so the one on the left is Hooter. Mm -hmm. And the one on the right... That's the one that's more difficult. The one on the right is... Ah, uh, no! I'm trying to think of, like, when Michael Jackson's yelling their names. So I know, Hooter, where's the map? I think I, I, ate, I ate it. I think I ate it. Uh, and then, I don't know the name of the other guy. Uh, flying Orange Monkey Tail, dude. Nikki, you want to you wanna try this one? Um, I don't remember his my name. guess was a heffalump and a woozle. So good job, Gabe. I don't know. I, <laughs> now I know who it is. I, I can see it, but I don't know the other guy's name. That is yeah. Hooter and... These are Hooter and Fuzzball from Captain EO. Fuzzball. It's much more simple than I thought it was going to be. Hooter and Fuzzball. Well, let's look at our scores. Marshall points? We... Marshall points? No. It's not going to happen. Go to uh, go to City Hall. Talk to them. Um, we have 50 points for Gabe, 60 points for Nikki, but anyone can win because it's time for the key to the kingdom question, our big question at the end to determine who is going to go home while they're both at home. Who is going to be the winner? Who is buying dinner tonight? All right. We have linked accounts. <laughs> Tonight's uh, category is size matters. So think about how many of your points you want to wager in the category. Size matters, or maybe it's size matters. I don't know. 50 points you have, Gabe. Nikki, you have 60. Just write down, you don't have to share it right now, how many points you want to wager. Corn Dog Castle, final answer. <laughs> Everybody good? Everybody's got their wager down? All right, here's your question. What single Disney attraction is larger than all of Disneyland? Write down your answer. What single Disney attraction somewhere in the world is larger than all of Disneyland? Bigger than Disneyland, a single attraction. You think about that, write down your answer, and this is a chance for me to remind everyone, if you're enjoying the show, tell a friend, subscribe, and now you can find us on the, on the uh, I think it's Twitter, it's called. We're on the Twitter and uh, Instagram. So you see those down there. I'll probably put those right down there. Uh, so be sure to follow us there for more hilarity. It looks like they're writing down some answers. Bigger than the whole. Bigger, this is a single attraction larger than all of Disneyland. It's a real single thinker, it's a real thinker. And it's clearly not in Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Disneyland experience. Um, all right. Are we ready? Yeah, Nikki, you go first. <laughs> Nikki, you have 60 points. It's uh, not right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm right either, but it's the only attraction that I could think of that was... Massive, at least in terms of size, for somebody who's never been there. Nikki, let's uh, see okay. what your answer is, okay. please. <laughs> it's definitely wrong. I think I don't even know if there is one. The ride under the castle in Disney Paris is there's not even a ride under the castle in Disney Paris, is there? Uh, I a, panicked a, so hard, guys. <laughs> I panicked so there's hard. a dragon. There's a dragon. A dragon. There is a dragon. There is a dragon. <laughs> how many points? They go hide now. How many 30. points did you wager? <laughs> Thirty. 30. All right, so you have 30 points. You could still pull this out. The lot, the ride under the castle. That's fascinating. Uh, <laughs> Gabe, your answer, please. I don't think I have this right, and I, and I, <laughs> I think I got this wrong. I'll cover up how much I wagered. Okay. Journey to the center of the earth. Oh, journey to the center of the earth. 
It is large, and if it really went to the center of the Earth, it would be the biggest. Uh, that is incorrect. How many points did you wager? All of them. All of them. <laughs> and uh, because I'm an amateur at this, I asked you that before giving the answer, which ruins the tension. Uh, we were looking for Kilimanjaro safaris. Oh, oh duh. That makes a lot of Kilimanjaro sense. Kilimanjaro safaris. Well, final scores. Gabe risked it all. Ended up with the, the, the goose egg. Nikki has 30 points. She'll be enjoying those on the ride under the, ca under the castle. <laughs> that's an Illuminati thing or something, isn't it? The, that's in the Tomorrowland movie, had, I think, is the ride under the castle. You, you panic so hard that you don't deserve to win. I'll tell you that. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> it's in Japan. Wait, it's in Shanghai. Do they have a ride under the castle? Somewhere has a ride under a castle. I think Shanghai has a has a ride that goes underneath. Yeah, castle. so there was there is one that exists. I just got the country go. wrong. Listen, you do the not, biggest part of it, really. You do not need to be apologetic. You won. Congratulations Yay! with your thirty points. You're today's winner. So uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you again to Nikki and Gabe. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. How about another hand for Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings doing a great job over there. Until next time, everyone, remember, now is the time, now is the best time. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Please like this video and subscribe so we can keep making it. It's what Walt would have wanted. See you next time. <laughs>